<laughs> Can you help us clean up? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hey guys, my name is Blake Pisey. Thanks for joining me in this episode. Today, we're gonna start some cabinets for the shop, and guess what? Uh, I've never built cabinets before, so this is the reality of every intro I film. quite figured out my workflow yet for breaking down plywood or really any lumber. I'm only getting about one hour of sunlight after work and uh, a little pond is pretty much frozen so we're gonna be piled with snow here soon and it's just too cold. I think we'll break it down in the garage next time maybe actually here in the toy room but I don't like the idea of dust so this will do for tonight we've got about six more sheets. sheets one through seven right there and we've actually got uh, two sheets of quarter inch that is actually on back order but I'll pick those up later this week. I'll show you one process I have a little confidence in that's just how I go about planning these projects. I like to just start with the space right here and I like to just stare at it for a really long time and think and generally do some sort of layout and then obviously take some dimensions take it to a computer or paper and do a bit of a sketch. I find this part to be critical. You can see the plan here, nothing too crazy, but it's nice because I was able to create customized drawers and get it exactly how I want it. And from there, I break it down and lay out all the individual components onto sheets of plywood while trying to minimize how many sheets I actually need to buy. Once my material takeoff is complete, I send that out from pricing to about five or six different suppliers and see who comes back with the best pricing. Finally, I create a cut sheet that looks something like this. I like to print it off and actually have a copy in pen. And would you look at that? That's 108 different pieces, so we better get cutting. It's definitely efficient. I mean, I think we're making some good progress so far. We're about maybe 
halfway there. So I'm doing that for everything except for uh, the drawer fronts. These guys I'm just leaving about an eighth of an inch long. I mean, I, th I think it would work, it should, but I feel I'd rather just sneak up on those once the cabinets are built. So I'll square them up now though. I think that looks pretty good. 108 pieces, cut exactly to size. Now it's time to see if they fit together. All right. When it comes to fastening these cabinets, we have a few different options. We got the good old glue and screw, which I think I'll probably rely mostly on. And then I do have a nailer. This is a Brad nailer, however, and uh, these aren't exactly that small. So I wish I had a pin nailer. Almost bought one today, but decided it wasn't needed. And then we have the pocket hole jig. <laughs> so I don't know what it is about these pocket holes, but Something about it bothers me. I'm just not the biggest fan, so. However, I do need to hide some of the fasteners, so we'll use this just as needed. For me, the biggest thing though will be screw, glue, and uh, clamp those things together, so. And just before we begin, I have this feeling that I should be sanding and maybe doing some finish prior to assembly, but I just wanna build something tonight, so we're gonna skip that, cross that bridge when we get there. Look what the cat decided to drag in. <laughs> do, you, do you want to go ahead and test what you're going to test there? Go like this way. What? Push. Does it like shoot back like a gun? No, it's very easy. Are you sure? Yes. Do, can I just push this or do I have to push and push that? You have to engage that. Okay. Push that in first just so you can feel it. Uh, More, yeah. Okay. Pull the trigger. Use those guns. Oh, mama. Can <laughs> 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 you try again? Yes. <laughs> well, the no. thing's over here, so if you push. Okay, sorry. Honey, no, put the thing right over here. <laughs> so it's in line with your... Like right here. Yes. Okay, okay right. round two. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. That was the last time. I'm in the area. 
I'm waiting for, you know, me to make a big mistake. I saw we glued the back panel and I think that was a big mistake. If you know, comment down below me, let me know. Uh, do you glue the back panel? I'm not sure. I don't think so because let's get a bunch of squeeze out. If this was uh, a cabinet, not a set of drawers, then uh, we'd have some problems. But this will all be hidden, not a big deal. She's off the bed. Bye. Love you. Should we put it in place though and check it out? I think so. So we have one and two assembled. This guy was a bit tricky. So let's wrap up with three in the upper four. I can't believe everything fit. I think we need to end this episode here though. I thought we'd get a little bit farther, but why don't you just pretend the upper's mounted and the lower's on legs? Because the next time I see you, they will be. Do I look a little tired? Because it's crazy late. I'm not even gonna tell you what time it is. It's just embarrassing. I think it's a good thing this is my career because I wouldn't make any money. I'm just too slow. Okay, I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you.